right, so today we got another original Apple Watch. This one was a bit snazzier stainless steel model, even though it clearly didn't age too well. It kind of reminds me of what the back of those iPod touches used to look like. Moving on, here's our issue. The display ribbon has been completely torn. And the display isn't even salvageable because the ribbon cable on this is also broken. So we can go ahead and jump straight in to get this single PCB extract from the housing starting with the battery. With that out, we can remove the surprising amount of pentalobe screws within this thing. Well, I've clearly stripped the screw out, which happens sometimes with these little things, but I can deal with that later. And here's later, so I've got to deal with the screw. I'm a huge fan of the JB weld method, but I don't have enough space for that, so I'm just going to cut it out with my Dremel. And we get a nice little souvenir. And now we can move on to freeing the ribbon cables. And that wasn't supposed to happen, so it's just another thing to fix though. When I pull the board out, these mounting brackets can be bent upwards and used as leverage for extraction. Just be sure to use both sides to avoid damaging them. And don't pull too far up and outward. And with the board lifted out, we can disconnect this cable. Now these two wires need to come out. The glue needs to be melted off and then it can be desoldered. And 
after sliding this sensor out, the entire thing is free. And here's the bottom side of the board. Some black tape is covering the ribbon cables that will need to be removed. With the board mounted, a quick blast of some hot air should melt the thin amount of solder holding these ribbon cables on. Using some flux, I want to go ahead and clean up the solder contacts. With those looking ready, next I want to remove the glue from those two wire joints and clean those contacts as well. clean away everything and it should be good to go. Just for comparison, here's a quarter. And my finger apparently. And our parts have arrived. The button ribbon cable looks used. And this is just a display I yanked from a donor. I want to place a thin layer of no clean flux and then I will get the new ribbon cables aligned. And a quick hit with the iron should solder in place. Like I said, this ribbon looks used and terrible. It'll be tricky to align, but as long as it's functional.
It's not perfect, but it looks good enough so that nothing is shorted together. Go ahead and solder these two wires back in place underneath. Put this ribbon cable back in. Then let's test this thing for functionality. And we have display. The type of display you get when you put a 42mm screen on a 38mm unit. Looks like I need to steal from a more fitting donor, but at least we have something. Moving on, I can speed through the laborious and delicate task of putting everything back. Alright, with all that done, this is ready to be closed up. To cut the video down, I'll end it here. This thing is now completely functional, just need to let it sit while clamps shut to adhere. I do hope that you enjoyed the video and it has earned your subscription. I work on various electronics here, so if that stuff interests you, then I hope to see you on the next one.